Hello everybody, welcome back. This year CitizenCon is taking place a couple days from now and finally one of the biggest mysteries of Star Citizen lately is going to be revealed. I am talking of course about the pioneer, the game changer ship, a vessel that apparently is going to change everything we know about Star Citizen, everything we are expecting out of our favorite game. So today I'm going to have a quick talk, a quick discussion with you about the Pioneer, what we might see this Friday, what I am expecting the Pioneer to be, and of course hear your own opinion about the Pioneer and what will bring to the game, what will bring to Star Citizen, how it will alter our favorite universe. Before we go ahead I should mention that we don't have much info really about the Pioneer, only its name, the name of its manufacturer, its shape and the fact that it has been called as the game changer ship of Star Citizen for months now. So everything I am going to say in the video are my personal estimations, opinions and what I think the Pioneer is going to be based on the few info we have right now. So what do we really know about the Pioneer right now? We know its name, the name of the manufacturer, it is a consolidated outland vessel, its shape and probably the size, it seems to be a quite big vessel, we don't have numbers but it seems to be around 100 150 meters, maybe even longer, closer to the Endeavor probably. We will have to wait about the actual numbers but it seems to me that it is going to be a quite big and long vessel. The Pioneer is going to be available as a concept sale during and after CitizenCon and it's going to be quite expensive. It is going to be available in limited quantities and at the price of $850. Something that means it will be best suited for big organizations or a group of friends that can share that cost. So it is not a vessel for the casual, for the average backer. The biggest clue we have about the Pioneer is its game changer description and this is what makes us believe that it is going to be a vessel that has to do with an activity that is not yet in game, that has not been mentioned yet in game. What that activity might be, what that profession might be, you're going to ask me, well we have pretty much everything mentioned already in game from being a hacker even to exploring new worlds, to salvaging destroyed vessels or repairing damaged vessels. There have been mentions, there have been talks from the developers and Chris Roberts about how they want to give players the ability, the tools, to build their own outposts, to build their own bases, to start constructing buildings on the planets of Star Citizen. That and of course the name of the Pioneer which implies that it will have to do something with exploration and settling on a new area make me believe that the Pioneer as a vessel is going to have a connection with exploring new worlds but uh, we do have a lot of vessels that are suited for exploration so that will not be very game changing so it will have to do something with settling down on a new world creating colonies and the best way to create a colony is either by building bases give to the owner the ability to build outposts and create a base or operating itself as a forward base as a mobile base for explorers or other players to perform their favorite activity to pursue their goals in this new area in this new territory that and of course the correlation the pioneer has with this year's citizen con theme exploring new worlds make me believe that this vessel is going to be something more than an exploration vessel is going to be a ship that will help its owner and the organization that is using it to find a suitable world, to find a good area and settle down, colonize it, create a base. Like I have mentioned before, I am expecting the Pioneer to be working to operate in two different ways. The first one and the easier in my opinion to implement in the game is to work as an actual base, as a forward base. The ship itself to become the base for the owners, for the organization. In that way it will be easier for explorers to find a new planet, a new world, settle down for a couple of days or for how long they wish to stay in the area and perform research, explore the ground, explore the area around them. This is the easiest way to implement the Pioneer in the game in my opinion. But it is not really very game changing since we have other vessels that can land on a planet, on a moon, deploy a vehicle and do pretty much the same. 
If the Pioneer is working that way, then the main difference I am expecting to have from the other exploration vessels that can work in a similar way will be the sustainability of the crew, the fact that it can stay at the area for a long time, longer time at least. Now the second way, the second way the Pioneer could work is the real game changing experience for me personally by building the basis itself. This can again happen in two possible ways. First is to collect the materials on planets that you are visiting and build the outpost, build the modules necessary to create outposts and bases on the ship itself, then place them down on the place you want to colonize. The other way is to buy the modules, to buy the modules necessary to build outposts and transport them to the area you wish to colonize with the pioneer. In both ways you will be able to create outposts, place them at a specific area and start expanding your base by adding more buildings that will provide you with the necessary power, oxygen and food in order to survive out there, in order to create your base that can later upgrade it to a military base and call it a home for your organization or even a trade hub so other players can visit and trade with you and your traders. I think the real game changer will be to actually start creating your own base, to start creating your own outpost, something that doesn't seem to be very hard for the players to do. We have seen how the developers are creating their modular outposts, so with the right tools it will be kind of easy for a big organization to lay down outpost after outpost and create a base or even a city later. Whether the Pioneer can work as a forward mobile base or can actually build outposts or transport modules to build outposts, I'm expecting to be a quite big vessel with modules focusing on exploration obviously, colonization and research. I am expecting the Pioneer to have some hangar or garages capabilities so the players and the organization that is operating them could bring their scouting vessels, their scouting ships along. Nonetheless, I'm expecting the Pioneer to be a great exploration slash colonization vessel no matter in which way it is going to operate and I think it is going to be a quite game changing experience to go out with a vessel like the Pioneer. These are of course my personal estimations, my personal opinions about how the Pioneer might work, what the Pioneer might look and be like and I would love to hear your opinion what you think the Pioneer will actually be and how it will actually work. One is for sure, this Friday we will know a lot more about this new vessel. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.